Hi and welcome to the Bass Monk channel. Based on interests of a picture I put up on the Fretless Bass Group on Facebook, we're going to interview the inventor and builder of this PVC upright bass. If you enjoy what you see, please like and subscribe below as there is more to come. PVC uh, electric upright bass. The uh, the drummer in my band, who's also the bass monk uh, and secret rock drummer, had posted this uh, on the internet and gotten a lot of interest in it. So we thought we would describe it. What it is is a upright bass, electric upright bass with weed whacker strings that's made entirely from store bought uh, PVC plumbing fittings, uh, inch and a half. PVC pipe, PVC adapters, PVC caps, uh, just built out of common materials. Let's take it from the top, talk about it from the top down. Uh, so from the top down. Home Depot or Lowe's, <laughs> which do you prefer? Uh, this is mostly from Lowe's. Three inch PVC pipe that we've cut a window in to allow access for the tuners. These are uh, inexpensive uh, Grover knockoff tuners. Uh, PVC pipe cap, PVC adapter, PVC pipe. I had to make the fretboard, I took a larger diameter PVC pipe, cut it into this slightly wedge shape, and then glued it to the smaller PVC pipe, which forms the body, so that you have a, uh, a wider fretboard that can also be placed at an angle to allow it to uh, have a proper action. So it's curved? Yes, and then down here we have actually a uh, machined um, PVC bridge and then a, and a PVC inch and a half to three inch adapter which forms the uh, the heel and then just more PVC parts and the reason it's black is because I dyed it black PVC is typically white and that was boring uh, and in keeping with the base monks decor we went with a uh, a black black dye, this is a black oil based dye, uh, the dye of the PVC. Uh, the strings are literally weed whacker strings with a, uh, with a uh, Kevlar fiber core to give them a little strength. It's four different diameters which are tuned to give the proper uh, notes. They're not ideal but they're what's commercially available. Uh, this whole concept came out of be watching YouTube. So of course, because I'm an, an avid instrument builder, I look at various guitar fabrication, home guitar fabrication or luthier videos, and YouTube through its algorithm will suggest topics that it thinks I might be interested in. And the PVC electronic uh, electric bass came up. I watched a few videos or a few other people doing it and decided it would be a, uh, an exercise. It was also, uh, spurred on by another member of our band, uh, Bob Christ, who had come up with the idea of making a bass guitar or a guitar out of a aluminum pipe. So the aluminum pipe would form the body and neck of the guitar. Uh, and so that's a little more complicated. So we thought a PVC bass would be cheaper and easier to fabricate as a, as a proof of concept. And then from this, we could go on to more complicated uh, and more permanent uh, aluminum structured guitars. Well, this was just a, just a fun little project. I've made three of them. Uh, one for myself, uh, and two for the bass monk, uh, one in black <laughs> and one in a wood tone. Uh, and they, they don't play particularly well, but they're, they're conversation pieces, they're fun, and uh, it gave me knowledge in, in luthier techniques that apply to some of the more uh, artistic and functional instruments that I've made later in my career. Total cost? I think the total cost in this is less than $50. Man hours? 
probably about, well, forgetting design, there, there was some design hours, probably 20 to 40 hours of design. I pre-designed it all on CAD, uh, and then actual fabrication. Once it was designed on CAD, cut out the detail parts, did the assembly, probably 10 or 12 hours in, in prefabrication, probably 10 or 12 hours in assembly, and of just a few hours in tuning and finalizing. But less than less than fifty dollars in here. The most expensive parts are probably the knockoff tuners. And it also has a piezoelectric pickup, which I bought off of eBay. They're they're, they're really inexpensive. Uh, it's not a it's not a fancy one. It's just a piezo element that you can buy. There are six of them for a couple of bucks. Uh. Paperweight, conversation piece, or jug band bass? All of the above. It's, a, it's, it's not a particularly good bass in, uh, in terms of playability. It's more of a conversation piece, but you know. Uh, it has cool value. It absolutely has cool value. Uh, I like to have it in the background when, we, when we're playing gigs. It always attracts attention, gets people to ask questions about it. And it inspired me to do much more complicated uh, luthier work. So it's, it's, it's a conversation piece, but it has a lot more value than that.